Okay, so <clears throat> when I first started out drawing, uh, it was a long time ago. Now I'm here, and I want to show you uh, the difference between where I was and where I've gone and how I've grown. Uh, so this is a graffiti piece. Uh, it's called Mobs. This is my Mobs piece. Uh, it was for my uh, branding mobs. Uh, I was going to start my empire of just finding people out there who had talent who wanted to do stuff together with artwork in order to you know make an empire and uh, this was going to be the logo. Uh, the slogan was uh, join us we got cookies basically. Uh, so this is an example of my graffiti in the early days. I first started out uh, and hang in there because it only gets worse from there. Uh, this is a picture of one of my uh, earlier models, Miss Haley. Uh, and this one uh, says, "What you eat don't make you don't make me shit." So basically, whatever you take in doesn't necessarily make me put out any you know crap. So uh, that was a quote from Jay Z. That was a big quote back. And when I was coming up, because it, it felt like uh, you would hear somebody say something, just say something, and it's like, so it ain't got nothing to do with me. So uh, basically, that's what it meant. And as you can see, the graffiti on this one is uh, very, very simple butter le bubble letters, uh, and then little splats in between. Uh, the face you can see, the hair uh, is a little bit, a lot more sketchy then I filled in and I'll show you I'll show you the difference between uh, that and this coming up uh, so there's that one that was uh, 2012 so I was 22 there's another one uh, this one is of Miss Candace uh, this one says uh, I am, I am, sh show you how to get, I am, <laughs> that is basically what it says, I am, uh, I am, show you how to get, I am, so, uh, don't know what it means. But at some point, it had some type of meaning to me. I really liked the colors. It was my first time doing graffiti letter, graffiti letters that were 3D. Uh, and since then, I've uh, I've actually grown from that. The first time I've done jewelry, the first time I actually did a dark African American female. Uh, the hair you can even see is still it still looks scratchy in hair, but. Uh, the skin tones is changing, uh, the lips were a little bit off to me, uh, but let's continue. Also 2012, now we're getting into 2014. Uh, this is when I first thought of the idea of going to a library and showing my artwork. Uh, so that's this one, uh, and then it says uh, just as a graffiti, a really, really simple, clean graffiti piece. Uh, the, her fingers are the guns and it's kind of shooting straight out. And yeah, so I got my symbol here. I messed up really bad right there, so I decided to put my symbol over it and then sign over it. So <laughs> that's the story behind that one. Uh, she's wearing uh, the pacifier, which was going to be the gym jewelry that was going to signify whether or not you were a member of uh, Code Inc. or not. I probably should have went ahead and did some outlines on the donuts. I would have gave it a little bit more of a detail and less of a blend look. Uh, I really should have went into some shading in her shirt and in her glasses as well. Uh, the hair, as you can see, is starting to develop and it's starting to come a lot better. Uh, my shading is still really hard. Uh, it doesn't blend very well, but as you can see over here, the blush on her skin is a little bit heavy as well. So, uh, which then I moved away from blush altogether. So, <clears throat> I need to get back to learning how to do that. Uh, and then, that was about three years ago, and then now 
I, I do pieces like this where I got uh, Logic, uh, the rapper, one of the the G O A T one of them. Uh, Twenty seventeen. This is where I'm at. I, as you can see, the shading of the hair is a lot better. So it's a lot more uh, smooth. It doesn't have as much chop. But uh, but this isn't the best example of it. Uh, I'm going to show you some pieces that I haven't finished yet that I've gone through and kind of upgraded. But as you can see, my shading has come a, uh, come a long way. Uh, and you can see the shading in the face has come a long way as well. You can still see the blush a little bit, uh, but it's definitely not as heavy as the last one. And my graffiti and line work is just jumping. It's getting better. It's getting a lot better. I'm, I'm starting to clean up things, and I'm starting to understand uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, here's another example of shading uh, that is getting a lot better. Uh, this one's unfinished, uh, and this is me coming into more than just poetic markers. So, uh, 2017, I've decided to use color pa not only uh, markers, copaic markers, but also water paint. Uh, to start doing my pieces. Uh, they blend a lot easier and they, they take up a lot more space and I can uh, do more background and less paint. So 2017 skin tone for African Americans way better. Uh, you can still see how it's hard uh, in the shading but the shading is getting a lot, lot, lot better. A lot better. Even in the skin, you can see where the shading needs a little bit of work. It's getting better. Uh, and I'm going to show you one more piece. Uh, two more pieces, because uh, this one, the shading, is not complete yet, but the shading on this one is looking really, really legit now. I'm getting better at that. Uh, now, uh, down here, I know I uh, started running out of marker and it started showing my stripes. So. I'm gonna have to go back in and re-darken and re-wet it up and everything, but my shading's getting better. And on this one, I want to show you the hair. Uh, the hair on this one, uh, you can see how it blends in a lot more. Uh, and I've chosen where I want to have hard edges versus it all being hard edges. And again, watercolor. And in this one, glitter. So I'm I'm changing uh, into a mixed media artist from just being a, 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 a pen artist. And here's the example of my mixed media art, uh, where the oil is all the way around the edge, and then uh, you got the glitter, and then you also have water paint along with copaic markers. So. Uh, this one's fairly interesting. The graffiti is actually in the inside, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, finish this one off by writing lyrics into the painting. So, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, Remember to practice and being present uh, in the below. Uh, purchase a shirt. Help me continue making pieces like those so I can uh, bring my artwork to the world. Hopefully change the world for something better. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.